So James Damore is suing Google uh, for discrimination against uh, conservatives and white men. And, you know, I don't know if he has a case or anything like that. Like, I'm not a lawyer, but apparently there's something like 80 pages of this shit, right? So it's not like he's going off of no evidence whatsoever. And nonetheless, even if he doesn't get uh, money or the suing goes through or whatever, it at least exposes you know them even more. And it's like they really can't deny the fact that they have a huge bias against white males, right? Even though there's there's also another lawsuit going on right now against them from like three women for like pay discrimination, right? So there's uh, Google apparently knowingly discriminates against female employees when it comes to compensation, violating multiple California laws, including the California Equal Pay Act. They cite, cite evidence from a labor department inquiry of Google in which investigators found find six to seven standard deviations between pay for men and women in nearly every job classification in 2015, right? So even with all of these things in place, right, to, uh, you know, promote women and all this crap, and even with all of this stuff internally that we're figuring out how they hate white people and white men essentially laugh at them, shame them, you know, say like, uh, tell them to shut up. Like there's one example somebody sent through these, uh, you know, these internal channels that in, in Google, they're like to white men. And I hear this all the time. It's like to white or straight readers. There are times you just need to shut up and listen. Try try for some empathy. You'll learn a lot. You know, like implying that we don't have empathy, right? It's like, fuck, fuck you, really. I'm, I'm really sick of this shit. But, you know, they, they are facing this discrimination while also facing, or uh, this lawsuit while also facing this lawsuit, which is hilarious, right? Clearly, they're not promoting and they don't favor white men. We we have plenty of evidence of this, right? So how are they really discriminating against women? What What's really happening is pretty much what James Damore outlined within his m- original memo that he got uh, fired for. You know, men and women are different. We have biological differences. Not as many women are going to be interested in you know, being in this type of job to begin with, so you're never going to get a 50-50 parity, right? So that's that's never going to happen for that reason. And then, and then there's there's other reasons too, right? Like neuros, uh, he's saying they're neurotic or something like that. Like I'm not saying all women are neurotic, but we we do have different, you know, strengths and weaknesses, you know, as genders, and that's that's a good thing. You know, we want like it's it's like yin and yang, you know, like their weaknesses or their strengths make up for our weaknesses and our weaknesses make up for their strengths. So we, we need each other, right? So the laws that they have in place and shit in California are the real issue, right? And these are the things that are really driving Google and Twitter and, you know, these companies to do what they're doing, right? They didn't do it before. It wasn't until pressure from the EU, from certain regulators and stuff like regulators and stuff to tamp down on these things right and not since trump's election essentially they're like okay wait these people actually do have some power right uh maybe maybe we should fucking silence them as much as possible right so it's you know they're going to uh you know these regulations are just shit and people really should try to figure out or or understand that most regulations are going to to fuck you in some way or another there there's probably some that are decent but the majority of them are shit and create situations like this right and an environment like this you know in google because i'm it probably wasn't always like that right it clearly recently that has been like this and obviously in california they're going to get sued for you know discriminating against women it doesn't matter what you do you know you could only hire them as much as possible and you're still going to get fined for a lawsuit they're gonna you're gonna hire only women then one of them's gonna be like oh he looked at me the wrong way 
a sexual harassment. There's there's you know shit going on here, discrimination against women. It, it doesn't matter what you do, you're never gonna win that fight. So people like Google and stuff like that, like they should realize this and you know uh, fight back, <laughs> right? Because it's it's a losing battle on their end. They, the more they compensate for these people, the more these people are going to take, right? So it's a it's a losing battle. Just side with the people who are rational, and let's just hire people based on merit, right? And yeah, sometimes there's going to be some discrimination maybe here and there, but these laws just ruin shit. These, a lot of these anti-discrimination laws just make things harder, right? And they, oftentimes they are abused. And I, I believe probably the majority of times they are abused, right? And in the case of James Damore, this time it's actually more viable. But I think they should be scrapped completely, honestly. I think they should get rid of anti-discrimination laws, right? So then, you know, you'd, you'd fire people for any reason you want, right? I, I, I would much prefer that because it's really hard to prove intent, right, of people, right? But for some reason, when it comes to uh, firing or, or uh, discrimination cases for against white people, then it's, you know, pretty believable and shit for some reason. So we can tell their intent, you know, but we can't tell the intent of other people. But, oh, you know, he says, he's saying he's not racist and he's this, but... Uh, that's probably not what he really believes, <laughs> you know, just a bunch of bullshit, but that's all I pretty much had to say, so if you like my content, subscribe, and have a good day, see ya.